What is going on? Your boy Jordan back today with another live sales call. Today's call with a lawyer. Uh, she scheduled to call with me. Not really sure how she found out, but we're going to find out on this live sales call for you guys. And if you guys enjoy content like this, let me know that you enjoy liking, listening in, eavesdropping on my sales calls. Um, otherwise, I can just have my sales guy take these calls, but it seems like some of you guys do enjoy this content and I will continue to make it as long as you keep dropping that thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. So I'm a little late. Let's go ahead and make this phone call. All right, I'm pretty excited. It always, uh, it's always like a little first date for phone calls. Let's see how it goes. Attorney Brianna. Hey Brianna, it's Jordan. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, where are you calling from today? I am in the Sacramento area. Okay, cool. NorCal. I'm here. I'm here in SoCal then, Orange County. <laughs> Yeah, super cool, super cool. So, I mean, uh, how did you find out about me? What made you want to schedule a call with me today? Um, I found you on YouTube um, looking up Google Ads for attorneys. Okay, cool. Yep, that's exactly what we do. And what made you want to schedule a call with me today? I am currently working with a lead generation service. And it's not really producing what um, I wanted it to produce, getting a lot of people calling, knowing like that they don't want attorneys, but I still pay for the lead. Um, they just want to ask free questions. So I, I kind of want something that's a little bit, I guess, cheaper for those people that are just asking questions that I'm not paying like the full lead price for them. And before I did the lead generation, I was thinking about doing ads, but I got um, convinced with the lead generation and decided to try that first. Okay, gotcha. And then with this lead generation company, like what are they, where are they sourcing their leads from for you? Do you know? From Google Ads. So they're running Google Ads and then the people sign up for their ad and then they send the people to the lawyer. Got it. And is that a shared lead type of thing or are they directing those leads to you? It's exclusive leads, so they don't send the leads to anyone else within the program, um, but there are, like, other attorneys within the location, um, but they're not supposed to be sending them to, like, multiple attorneys. Gotcha. And then um, those leads, are are they, like, forwarding their phone call directly to you, or are you having to follow up through, like, a contact form or something like that? Um, there's an ability to forward the call directly to me, and then also for the lead to book a, an appointment through Calendly, mm -hmm. um, or I will have to call them if they don't do either of those two. Okay, gotcha. So you're working with a marketing company, and they're basically running the Google Ads for you. Is that correct? Right, but they're sharing the leads between different attorneys within the area. They, you said that they're sharing those leads with, with other attorneys in your area as well? So not necessarily. So they'll only, it's kind of like a rotate. So let's say there are five attorneys um, within Sacramento and um, we're all, we only want two leads a day or something like that. They'll send one to one attorney and then the next person that comes through to a different attorney and then the next person. So they, they will rotate the leads to different people, if that makes sense. Okay, gotcha. Yep, that perfectly makes sense. And then um, you, so you're paying this company uh, per the lead or are you paying them like a monthly retainer type of fee? Okay, per lead. Got it. And then what type of leads or what type of cases are you looking for? family law um but i was interested in talking to you about also if you think ads is a good idea for like business law and estate planning as well okay what um as far as like cases why what what type of cases do you get the most for your business uh, right now i have mostly trademark clients so business law um uh, but I recently came into family law, so mm -hmm. that one's kind of building up a little faster than my trademark clients actually build up. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so you got the trademark lines and then you get do you also got the family law going on. Okay. Um, all right, so back to your marketing company, they're they're sending you leads and then your issue with them is that the lead quality isn't there, right? Right, exactly. Okay. And then you said that the leads that are calling you, they're kinda just asking for like like a free consultation or they're not really looking to hire a a lawyer, is that correct? Right, and so the way they have it set up is that, hey, if you sign up with us, you'll get a free consultation. So it's kind of hard to lead someone into a more paid consultation because they want to get all their information out within the the free 15-minute consultation, and then sometimes it goes over time. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I think I know what the issue is going on with your campaign right now. Um, so a little bit about me, we, we run a marketing company, we work with a ton of lawyers all across the US, um, a lot of family lawyers, um, so that's definitely something I can help you out with. We do have a couple of trademark um, you know, clients as well. Uh, we've done over $2 million in ad spend, so we have a pretty good grasp on you know what works and what doesn't work. Um, so there's two things that I see with your campaign. Um, number one is that you don't have your own campaign. That meaning that um, you know you don't have your own system working for you, where it's you know automatically generating you all the leads instead of it's it's, it's rotating. So you don't really know. It, it, at the end of the day, with with a ad campaign, it's partially a numbers game. So obviously, the more leads yeah. you get, then you know the chances are higher. Um, someone's going to hire you for your services, right? So that's number one is basically just increasing your volume. If you're only getting like two leads a day, you know, you know what I mean? Like you're going to need a lot more than that to, 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 to increase your chances of um, talking to someone that is serious about hiring um, your services. And then the second thing that I see uh, could be a possible issue with what's going on right now is that your current marketing campaign you said that you're getting leads that are com the leads that are being sent to you they're just not serious and so that could be fixed um with by uh by, by, by how you set up the google ads campaign so for example you can you can you can set it up in a way where it's called a negative keywords list and so if someone was to search up you know free advice from a family lawyer on Google, then you wouldn't want your ad to show up for that. You know what I mean? Because the lead quality, just, like they're just looking for free advice. Um, so there's a ton of negative keywords that we have uh, in place for our clients to minimize and to reduce and to ultimately like contain the lead quality. So we don't want our ads showing to people who are just looking for free advice, you know, searching around and things like that. We want someone that is that has the intent of, you know, searching on Google, looking looking into hire somebody. So yeah. those are really the two things that I see that could definitely be improved for you. And I think, you know, the the biggest thing is probably that negative keywords list, just having, you know, certain phrases in place so that your ads isn't showing up for people who just aren't serious about hiring. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense so far? Yeah, that makes complete sense. Yeah, so pretty much, like I said, I think those are the two main issues. And, you know, if you are looking to build like your own Google ads campaign, uh, basically, you know, you wouldn't be rotating leads with anybody else. You'd have your own system working for you. Um, and then it, it, and then everything else would be pretty much the same, right? All leads will be forwarded to you. Um, all the leads are exclusive. You'll be talking to them directly. Um, and then you'll be able to have access to dashboards. So you'll be able to track all your leads, um, see where your leads are coming from, and uh, listen back on call recordings and things like that if needed. Okay, yeah. That is, so when they call me, it'll be, um, the call will be recorded? Uh, yeah, so the call will only be recorded for your purposes or for, um, you know, if you plan on hiring a, a call center, you know what I mean, and you want to listen back on the call recordings or whatever it is, um, it's just for your purposes. Okay, that makes sense, but it wouldn't be like recording um, like after they're a client and then I call them at a later date? It's only oh, no, 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 no. Once they click on the ad, okay. Yeah, so what we do is we have a tracking number in place 
And the reason why we do that is so that you can track all of your leads. That way you're not like wondering, hey, is this Google Ads thing working? Or is Jordan actually sending me leads? So you'll be able to you know, access your, uh, your CallRail dashboard and that way you can track all the leads. Yeah. So, um, I mean, is this something you were looking to do? Were you looking to build your own system, um, kind of thing? I am looking. I'm looking to hire someone to do it for me because I actually tried to run um, YouTube ads on my own and it didn't go too well. So, uh, <laughs> definitely need someone to set it up for me i'm solo and i don't have assistance right now so mm -hmm. i don't have time to like try to figure out google ads anymore <laughs> no i totally get you and and i and I work with a lot of big, like we work with a lot of big firms as well. And I mean, some of them, they tried to run Google ads in the past, but the thing with that is that you just start burning money if you don't know how to set it up the right way, if you're not tracking mm -hmm. things and you just start, you know, you kind of just start losing more money than you're actually supposed to. Um, so the whole purpose of putting together a marketing campaign is for you to, to grow your business, be profitable every single month. And the cool thing is that you'll be able to, uh, you know, pre predict how many leads you'll get every single month. Um, and things like that. So everything's measurable and predictable with the system that we got for you. Okay, that's perfect. I know about like hiring people and at first I was just scared to invest the money because my firm is almost a year old. I was just afraid to invest the money, but I spent so much on this lead generation thing. I'm like, I can try out um, someone managing my Google ads for less than that. So let's see how that works. Um, so when you say that the leads are predictable, generally, what, how many leads would you predict for like a family law? Yeah, so, yeah, so good question. So I can't like tell you ex the exact number of leads you're going to get just because the, you know, depending on your location, it's going to vary the amount of leads. Like for example, we have a family lawyer um, over in New York and we generated him about you know, I, I believe he's getting about 60 to 80 leads per month off of uh, off of this family law campaign in New York. Uh, we have another family lawyer in Philadelphia where he's, we're generating him about 20 to 30 leads per month. Um, so it comes down to two things. Number one, where you're located. Um, and so since you're located in Sacramento, uh, you know, like I said, I, I wouldn't be able to give you an exact ballpark number, but it really also depends on what your monthly budget looks like for your advertising campaign. So do you know how much you, um, you're going to have allocated towards your, your monthly budget? Um, right now, I think I want to start at about $30 a day for um, the family law. Thirty dollars per day um, for the family. Do uh, th Thirty dollars a day for the family law campaign, um, and then you're running your ads for twenty, uh, about twenty days, five days a week. So your monthly budget is about six hundred dollars. Is that correct? Oh, okay. I guess it could kind of go up because I was I was saying every day. So. When you do the ad, you normally only run them business days so that you're basically not getting calls on the weekends, right? Um, so what we can do is we can set up your campaign to run on whatever days that you are, you, you want to work, right? So when, whatever days you're available to pick up the phone, um, then, you know, we can run ads on those days. So if you, if you work on the weekends, we can set it up on the weekends for you. But generally, um, depending on your budget, I'll be able to tell you like, hey, we should include weekends or not. Um, but most of the time, you know, business hours, Monday through Friday is, is, is perfect. Good time. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I think, yeah, I'll keep it there. I have room to move a little bit more if that's um, not enough or what you recommend. Definitely open to recommendations as yeah. well as far as the budget. So I just don't want to go over like... Um, $3,000 a month right now since I'm, I'm solo. Okay, no, totally understand. Um, so what I always recommend to all of my clients when they uh, when they start out, especially on Google Ads, is have a minimum uh, budget, uh, monthly budget of $1,500. That's gonna be towards Google Ads and obviously you don't get charged upfront or anything like that um, because it is pay per click. So, uh, but that you should set aside uh, $1,500 towards your monthly budget. And then from there, 
will be able to adjust your budget up or down to to meet your to meet your goals so you know at the end of the month you 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 like the amount of phone calls you can keep it as is if you're getting too many phone calls we can always reduce it to a thousand bucks and you get you'll you'll see a little bit less calls and if you just want to you know grow even more you see the phone calls coming in coming in you want to scale then we can always increase your budget but at fifteen hundred dollars is a good starting point for um setting aside for google ads okay that that works perfect so yep um we can definitely set everything up for you. It takes us about a week to put everything together. Um, your Google ads campaign, we build out your, your acts, you, you'll get access to your call rail and all that good stuff. And then once we were finished building out your campaign, uh, we, we give you a heads up, you give us the green light and then your campaign pretty much goes live. Okay. Um, I think I had a question, but I can't think what it was. Um, And you set up the Google account within your own account, or does it um, connect to the Google Ads account that I already have? Yes. Yeah, so if since you already have a Google Ads account, what we can do is all we all we would need to do is link up to your um, existing ad account, and then it will just go under our manager's account. And we'll be able to manage it from there. Um, so that would work. If you have you you currently own the ad account, yes, or does the management company own yeah, that? Yeah, I made it myself, so I don't think anyone. Will okay, own it. perfect. Yeah, so all we would need to do is um, link up to your current ad account, and then from there we'll be able to build everything inside your ad account, so you'll still have access to it and uh, and everything. Okay, and so when you say do fifteen hundred for the. Um, Budget would that be including if I also wanted to run ads with trademarks as well? Um. So. So what we normally do for the fifteen hundred dollars of your Google Ads budget, it'd be best to set it for just one campaign. Um. Mm -hmm. But if you want to split it towards two. I mean, we can we can technically do that. It be then it, you know it would just be seven fifty per campaign. Um, so I mean, it's really entirely up to you. Uh, but I would I would probably recommend having if you wanted to do with two both campaigns, I would highly recommend you have at least a thousand bucks towards each campaign. So that way you know you're getting enough volume for from each campaign, getting data and things like that. I just don't want you splitting up your budget into two and then you're not. You know, seeing as much volume as you should be or could be getting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So, would it be something that I can like add on later if I wanted to add definitely like, trademark? Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so, so we can always start with one one campaign, um, and then because ultimately I want you to start seeing results right away. Um, and then making sure that we're both on the same page and you're happy. And then we can always expand into targeting other, uh, you know, practices uh, or areas later on. Okay. And do you normally see like as much success with the trademark ads as with the family ads? Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, it just really depends on the client. Um, you know, then that's why I asked you like what type of cases you see more of. Um, but from our experience, like you're you're gonna get results for both. Um, but we've just had a ton of success with family law, just because we work with so many family law lawyers as well. Um, and I'm not saying that we won't be able to get you results for trademark. It's just with family law, we're able to kind of get you just results like right away. As soon as we turn on the campaign, you'll just start seeing phone calls right away. And then trademark, you should st still see the same results. But I'm I'm like really confident in the family law campaign as far as like, hey, I already know you're gonna get, you know, a good amount of phone calls right off the bat. Okay, is that the same way with um, estate planning as well, like wills and trusts? So estate planning, actually, that one's a little tricky. Um, we've worked with estate planning um, clients in the past and it really depends on like your geographic area. There's a lot of like different factors okay. coming into place. So I wouldn't be able to tell you, you know, what type of results you can expect in the Sacramento area until you actually start running the ad. So, you know, at the end of the day, I can't really like tell you exactly, you know, what results you're gonna get until we start running the ads and then we can always make adjustments and optimize the campaign as we as we get data from running the ads. Um, but, you know, I, I can just tell you from my own experience what you can expect 
from 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 that those campaigns、uh, we discussed. Okay, yeah, that works. I think I want to start off with the family law. I'm kind of just doing organic marketing for the business stuff, so and that's been going pretty well so far.、Um, but I think I will start off with the、um, family law,、um, and you can target like certain types of cases, right? Like if you only want to do divorce or you don't want to do custody or something like that. Yeah. So what we do is what or what what I'll do is if you decide to move forward, what, what's going to happen is I'm going to send you a proposal and also an onboarding form. And basically, on the onboarding form, you're going to fill out you know your basic you know business information, and then you're going to tell me what type of cases you're looking for, right? So, for example, if you're just wanting to do take on divorce cases, then we're going to build out your campaign to only target divorce keywords. Right, so、um, that's how we're gonna do that. And then, if you're open to, you know, just accepting on new family law, general family law cases and things like that, then we can set up the campaign to target those type of keywords as well.、Um, so yeah, it's really up, entirely up to you.、Um, and then, yeah, once you fill out the onboarding form, we'll use that information to build out your campaign. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. Okay, Brianna, do you have any other questions for me or anything like that? Um, not right now, no. Okay. Oh yeah, actually, will you be able to um pause it? Like, um, will there be like a support team that I can like email to pause it? Like, let's say if I'm on vacation or something, or I don't have anyone to answer the phones that week or something like that. Yeah, of course. So. You know, for whatever reason you need to pause your campaign, you're going to have、uh, my team's email, and then you can just say, "Hey, gonna be on vacation from this day to this day. Can you just pause the campaign?" And then we'll go ahead and we'll pause it for you,、um, and then we'll turn it back on on it for you and everything like that. So we take care of everything on the back end、um, for you, so you don't have to worry about that. The only thing you're gonna be doing more often is picking up the phone call or picking up the phone, pretty much. Okay. Well, that's what I need.、So. <laughs> yeah. Awesome.、Um, so, do you know when you are looking to get, or how soon you are looking to get started? Um, I would say beginning of October. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, first week of October. And did you want us to start building your campaign so that it can go live by October? About a week. Yeah, it takes us. It takes us about a week to a week and a half、um, to build everything out for you,、um, and then once it's done, we give you a heads up, and you can give us a green light, or you know, you can. We can always wait till October, but you know, it, it generally, it's gonna take us about a week to a week and a half to start building it. So, if you wanted to go live by you know October first, then you know we can definitely get started on building your campaign. You know, sometime this week, and just have it ready、uh, for you to go live. Okay. Yes. So our services for our services, we do everything for you. We build it, we manage it,、um, the support and everything, all that. It's it's a basically a, just a monthly retainer of fifteen hundred dollars, and we take care of everything for you. It's a monthly retainer of fifteen hundred. Yes. Correct. I think the thousand bucks a month. It might have been for the Google Ads budget,、um, but what we can do, Brianna, is I can I can reduce the monthly management fee from fifteen hundred to a thousand bucks a month. And then just a one-time setup fee of five hundred dollars. So the first month is fifteen hundred dollars just for us to set everything up and all that good stuff. And then after the first month, it would just be a thousand bucks a month to manage your campaign. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought it was going to be, so I would be able to do that. Okay, yep, no, no worries. That we can, I'll definitely, I'll put that in the proposal,、um, and then we can make that happen. Okay, sounds good.、Um, I keep having questions and they float out in my head.、So、I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> no, no worries. No worries. You have me. You have me here. I'm more than happy to answer any questions, concerns, or anything like that. Okay. Oh, I remember. Um, is the monthly billing like um 
going to be like beginning of the month or just the day that you pay? How does your feeling work? Yeah, so pretty much um, when you move forward, we're pretty much just going to charge you that $1,500 up front for us to get started. And then you won't be billed again until the month, one month after your ads go live. Does that make sense? Okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So it makes sense to just to start the building and then once it goes live then there'll be a month where and yeah. then you pay again exactly so if, let's say you move forward today we would charge you the fifteen hundred dollars today for us to start building it and then your ads go live on let's say october 1st then you won't be billed again until november 1st okay yeah that makes sense. yep i think the start date i don't know if you need this date but i think october 4th will be a good day to start okay yeah um the i mean we won't go live with anything until we get the green light from you um so i mean we can we're, we'll, we'll just get started on building your campaign and then once you're ready to go live you let me know and then we can turn on the campaign it's just we we want to get everything built in and built and have things in place uh so that way whenever you're ready we're ready as well Okay, and you also, you built the landing pages and all of those things as well, or do you need any information from me for the landing pages? Um, we take care of everything for you. So we'll, yeah, we'll build the landing page, and what we'll do is we'll, we'll draw content from your website, which I already have when you filled out the application. So uh, we'll draw content like the logo and all that good stuff from your website. And then on the onboarding form, if you have like photos of yourself, like a professional photo or um, or anything you like to include on the landing page, then you can upload it onto the onboarding form and we'll, we'll use that to uh, when we're building out the landing page as well. Okay. All right. That Yep. All right, Brianna, do you have any other questions? I have so far. What was that? <laughs> Um, so we can't target like specifically someone's like behavior, like if they just started a case or not. Um, but what I was, what, what I was talking about was that, um, for example, if you accepted, you know, just someone that searches up family lawyer on Google, for example, then our ad can show up for that. But if you wanted to just specifically target someone that was looking for a divorce lawyer, then we'll only target that keyword. So whenever someone Googles up, you know, divorce lawyer near me, then our ad is going to show up to that specific person. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, yeah. that, that makes sense. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Do you have anything else for me, Brianna? No, I think that's it. Okay, no worries. And if you ever have any other questions that come up, concerns or anything like that, I'm going to send you an email. I think I already sent you an email earlier about a call reminder. So that's the same email that you can reply back to. Um, if you have any questions and concerns, you can always ask me there. And um, our team, we get back to you, we get back to you pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, any questions, you can always feel free to reach out anytime. I'll go ahead and I'll get that proposal and onboarding form over to you right after this phone call. Do you know when you'll be able to get those two forms back to us? Um, I would say by the end of this week or early next week. Okay, no worries. So as soon as we get both of those forms back, that's when we'll start building out your campaign. Um, so uh, yeah, if you get it back to us, you know, by the end of this week, then we should, you know, have it ready for you by, you know, the beginning of October. Okay. Oh, one more question about just the ads in general. Yeah, go for it. Um, will you be able to know the um, cost per click once you set it up, or does that just kind of happen like once people start clicking on the ad? Um, so the cost per click, we'll both be able to see how much it is. Um, you'll have access to your Google dashboard, so you'll be able to see how much the cost per click is. Um, and then as far as like what the cost per click just looks like in the Sacramento area, that we can't tell entirely until we start running the campaign. 
but the cost per click, I mean, it's going to fluctuate every single day. It's not like one price. Uh, but generally for family law, it is affordable. It's nothing crazy. Like we work with a lot of personal injury lawyers and criminal lawyers in super competitive areas like Phoenix, Arizona and things like that. And the, where the cost per click is just like 50 to 200 bucks per click. So you won't see anything like that. For family law, it's generally pretty affordable. Um, I would say anywhere between, you know, in general, I'd say anywhere between 10 to 10 to $30 max, depending on what type of keywords you're targeting. But for family law, that's like, you know, the range. Okay. I, I don't know. I thought it was going to be like $60, but yeah, I guess we'll see more like once at start running. I don't. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like too many people are doing ads around this area. It kind of seems like it's always the same people. Okay. And, and that should be even better then because if you don't have a lot of competitors in the area, not a lot of people running ads, then, you know, I don't think the cost should be um, extremely high or anything like that. Okay. And we'll be better able to see that once we start running Ex the ads. Yep, right? exactly. We'll be able to see everyone that's running ads, what the numbers are looking like, um, and then we can, and then we'll make adjustments from there. Okay, so yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to re um, shoot me an email. I'm going to send you the two forms. The proposal is going to be via HelloSign. You'll be able to electronics electronically sign it online. It'll basically outline everything that's what everything that we're going to do for you that we discussed over the call. And then the onboarding form is going to be via Google Docs. So you can sign both on like on your computer. And then once we get those two back, we'll go ahead and we'll start building out your campaign. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And the invoice will also be emailed? Um, so at the bottom of the proposal, you'll be able to enter in your billing info and then we'll use that to uh, basically invoice you. Okay. okay. Okay, Brianna. So yeah, I'll get those two docs over to you after this call and I look forward to getting everything started, everything rolling for you. All right, thank you. All right, Brianna, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. All right, guys, so that was a call. I think it went really well. It passed the 30 minute mark, which is uh, pretty solid, right? She had a lot of questions. She, she was very interested, came through with the YouTube channel. And I think it's just a great, I think YouTube is just great for organics. Like, like just, you don't even really need a prospect, right? Or spend money on prospecting. You just make a video on YouTube, showing your results, showing your expertise. And every now and then you get someone scheduling a call with you. So that was a free call that I didn't prospect for. And she seemed like a pretty warm lead, someone that was, you know, interested and looking to move forward. So we'll keep you guys updated on if this deal closes. I'm super excited to start working with her and getting her awesome results. Stay tuned. Drop a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed this content. Subscribe to the channel to see more and to see how this deal plays out. All right, guys. See you guys in the next deal. Peace.